What's up, math fans? I hope you're familiar with trigonometry because today we're going to use it to find missing angles. Um, some background knowledge is you should be comfortable with right triangles. You should be comfortable with the Pythagorean theorem. You should be comfortable with SOHCAHTOA, what SOHCAHTOA means. I'm going to show you how to use it right now. And um, so it's just some stuff you should know. Is uh, If you're looking at a triangle, hopefully you know that all three angles add up to 180. So you should be able, you should know that if, if you have an angle here that's 90 and maybe another angle here that's 45, you can find the missing angle. As long as you have two, you can find the third. We're gonna explore if you only have one angle, how could you possibly find the other two angles? I don't know, but we will find out. In fact, just to make it, um, no, we're good. Okay, so let's, uh, let's get rid of that. Another concept you should know is the concept of finding an unknown. For example, let's say you have two X plus one equals nine. This is basic two-step equation. How do you find an unknown? So it's like you did something to the x, you doubled it, you added one, and you got nine. You have an answer here. How do you get the x? You undo everything you did. You inverse the one to go backwards. Now you have two x equals eight, because I did inverse. Now I'm gonna do an inverse again here, where I divide by two to get my final answer. So the concept of inverse is going backwards to get the unknown, remember that, inverse. I'm gonna get there in a second. So, here, I have a right triangle, I only have a 90 degree angle, and I want to find this missing angle, theta. Hopefully you remember that's called theta. So, first thing I'm going to do is label my sides. Longest side is hypotenuse, opposite the right angle is hypotenuse. Opposite the given angle, theta, go over there, is opposite. And next to theta is adjacent. So now you need the, the skill, I think this is a new skill now, if you know what SOHCAHTOA is, or what it stands for, SOHCAHTOA, if you know what it stands for, which of these three formulas are you gonna choose? They don't all work at the same time, it depends. Um, you might be saying, oh, oh, I could just use the Pythagorean theorem to find the missing side. Not necessary, Pythagorean theorem is not necessary here. You have no information about the missing side, forget it. I have formulas to handle this kind of situation. Sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. So look, look at the picture. You have opposite, you have hypotenuse. Opposite hypotenuse means you have this OH, you're going to use this formula. Here's how to use the formula. Write it out. What did I just say? Sine of theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. So I'm going to write that again. Sine of theta equals what's the opposite here in the picture? 5 over hypotenuse is 10. That's it. All you got to do is build the fraction the way you already know how to do. Now you're going to know, uh, use your knowledge of inverse. You want to find what the angle is. You know the sine of the angle is 5 over 10. What's the angle itself? It's almost impossible to do it unless you have a calculator. A graphic calculator is great, but even a scientific is fine. So you're going to look for this button, the inverse button, and it looks like this. Sine negative 1, it's not a negative 1, it's inverse. Sine inverse. Uh, most calculators, you're probably going to have to press shift or second. And when you press second, this pops up on the screen. You press second, sine, and the sine inverse button pops up on the screen. You might see parentheses right next to it. Put in the answer, the 5 over 10. 5 over 10. Over means divide. When you press enter, it will give you the angle that has a sine of 5 over 10. You want to be clever and put 1 over 2, it's the same thing. You want to divide it and say it's 0.5, it's the same thing. So what angle has a sine of 1 half? Well, just press enter and the calculator will tell you. It should tell you 30 degrees. If it doesn't tell you 30, that means it wasn't in degrees. There's a mode. Press mode. And you might see that your calculator is in radian mode. You want to switch that to degree mode and then do this over again and you should get 30 the second time. All right, that's basically it. Um, I'm going to do two more practice ones, but if you understand, label the diagram, figure out which of the three formulas or the three ratios to use, and then use the inverse button. That's it, three steps, you got missing angles. You no longer need two angles. You only need one angle and two sides, okay? Let's do the other ones. 
And number two, label my sides, right? Only side is hypotenuse. Here's my theta, opposite is over there, which means adjacent is right here. So here, I have no information about opposite. I only have adjacent over hypotenuse. So look at that word Sokotoa. Which part is gonna help me? This time, the ka part. <clears throat> Cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, seven over 14. Get your calculator. Get the cosine inverse button going. Press seven divided by 14, which also happens to be one half. What angle has a cosine of one half? It's not gonna be 30 this time. It's actually gonna work out to be 60, and I did that on purpose because I memorized those two answers. Any other answers, I would actually have to stand here with the calculator. 60 degrees, okay? Finally, you should probably try this one on your own. But I'll give you a hint. Um, this time it's going to come out to be 10 theta equals 4 over 4. So we're going to need the 10 inverse, right? Um, of 4 divided by 4. Hopefully, hopefully you get 45 degrees. Please confirm. Thanks for watching. See ya.